Hello, Teacher Sarah. Hello, Teacher Dawn. How are you? I am great, thank you. How are you? I'm doing very well, thank you. Great, Sarah. It's so nice to meet you in person because we are used to like chatting on Facebook together and um, we're in yes. a lot of the same groups. So it's nice to actually see your face and talk to you at the same time. Yes, exactly. I've seen your videos and whatnot. So, but it's been interesting. It's always different when you actually like speak with someone instead of watching the recorded videos. So I'm very excited. It's going to be very, a lot of fun. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Okay. So I saw you posted something on the official page. I know a lot of people were talking about what they were grateful for and good things that have been happening to them because of Go Go Kid. And you wrote something yeah. really cool and really touching. And so I asked you if we could speak and do this interview because I would love to learn more about you and hear that story. So before we get into that, why don't you tell me a little bit about you and about your background. Okay, great. Uh, well, my name is Sarah Lopez. I live currently in Chetamal, Mexico, which is very close to the Belize border, about half an hour car ride away from Belize. Um, it's in the Caribbean. It's beautiful. It's winter there where most people are, but it's very hot here. I have the air conditioning going. <laughs> but um, yeah, I have been teaching English as a second language since I was in about high school wow. because I started volunteering. My mother was an ESL teacher, oh. so I volunteered with her to help prepare immigrants, uh, prepare them to take their GED test. Yeah. So we formed um, a kind of a program in Ohio uh, where we helped immigrants prepare to get their GED test so they could search for better jobs and have a better quality of life. So that's when, way back when, my ESL started. Wow. And then I got a bachelor's in communication from the University of Toledo mm -hmm. with a uh, minor in communication. And, um, and yeah, I've been doing marketing and teaching off and on for my entire life now. Wow. And I adore it. <laughs> That's so cool. So how did you find out about online ESL teaching? Well, it's interesting. I live here in Mexico, and I, like many people my age, am still paying off my um, student loans. <laughs> so uh, living here in Mexico, making uh, money that comes in in pesos and trying to pay USD, uh, it's just, it's just pretty impossible. Uh, the conversion rate is not very friendly. Uh, so I was looking for ways to uh, have my income be USD based so that I could pay my student loans and get that down to a big fat zero. Yes. So I was looking around and I had heard from one expat who knew another expat, who knew another expat that taught classes online. And I was like, huh, well, I'm going to check it out. And I interviewed with three different companies. I got offered positions at three different companies. Wow. And yeah, um, and I ended up uh, going full time with Go Go Kid because I just adore the company, the way they treat their teachers the content, it's a company that they haven't shown me any reason to not be able to trust them. Okay, so I would love to um, ask you about a connection you have with a student, maybe a favorite student you have, or, or a story about a connection you have with a student. Oh, I have so many, I love my little kids. <laughs> it's hard, it's hard to choose just one. It's so difficult, I, okay. My first class that I ever taught in Go Go Kid, typically when you're hired on, your first class will be with a mentor. So it will be with another teacher to walk you through the classroom functions, et cetera. Mm -hmm. My first class was not with a mentor. I was booked like the next morning after my contract and I thought it was going to be a mentor, but I wasn't positive. So I prepared anyway yeah. to teach a class, of course. Yeah. 
and it was with uh, the student. He goes by the English name Constantine. <laughs> I love the and name. He too. is. Yeah. <laughs> he is the most adorable, intelligent boy. He's just so great, and his English level has improved drastically within the three months. Wow. To the point where um, our last class, we were going over, we were, I was teaching him the uh, lesson about plants, and I brought some of my succulents in to show him that some plants are born directly from the plant and not from seedlings, mm. and he's really into science. So I showed him that, and we've been watching the progression of my plants as wow. they grow in each class, and I taught him about the process of photosynthesis and how it takes in carbon dioxide and puts out oxygen, and you know, wow. and so we've, and we, you know, of course, we go over the, the uh, lesson content, et cetera, but usually uh, we have some free time to go over things, and he will have a question or, you know, he will say, did you know this, this, and this? And sometimes he teaches me something. Wow. <laughs> you know? So this is an upper I level student. Yeah. Yes. And it's great. So tell me, how has working at Go Go Kid helped you grow as a teacher and as a person? <sighs> I... I mean, I, I quite honestly, I adore this stuff. Um, and you encounter so many different types of personalities. You encounter so many different situations that it opens you up to other beings around the world, you know, where culturally you might not have that opportunity. Um, and so I think being able, to, being able to connect and the fact that Go Go Kid has lessons not only about, you know, vocabulary, locations, et cetera, but also about emotions. Mm -hmm. um, that's been really cool because we can have free talk and talk about our emotions with these, with these children. And I think seeing this new perspective from people around the world and young minds around the world has really helped me put some things in perspective to kind of be like, huh. You know, it kind of, it makes, it broadens your mind. It doesn't matter how long you've been teaching. When you get a fresh new perspective from a seven-year-old Chinese boy, yeah. you, you encounter some opinions that you may not have otherwise known. And it just, it provides more knowledge and it changes you as a person. I think that I, I want to travel more now. <laughs> All right, Sarah, so what's your favorite thing about teaching with Go Go Kid? I mean, the students. Yeah. Like, hands down. The students, I actually posted a status on my Facebook the other day. I was a little tired, a little groggy. It was raining here in Mexico, and I logged in into my uh, classroom. I had a class. My first one was at 4 in the morning, and... Um, and I was uh, spotted to be teaching for about five and a half hours, uh, four and a half, so like eight and a half, 8.30. Mm -hmm. And I logged in and, um, you know, the student pops up and I say, hello. And just to see this little small face, so excited and big smile. And they say, hello, teacher Sarah. And I'm just like, oh, dear Lord, my ovaries are going to explode. I don't have kids. But I don't, I currently don't have kids, but I'm questioning on whether I should, you know, take that up. Because, yeah. <laughs> because it is just like the most adorable. And it's just, just with those three words from that little kid, my morning was made. Make and sure. I was ready and awake and on top of it. And I was like, that's right. That's why I'm awake. Let's do this, you know? That was like all the coffee in the world does not have the energy that listening to that, that gives an energy that is just, if they could bottle it, they'd be making millions. It exactly. is awesome. Exactly. Yeah. It feeds so, the soul. It's great. Yes. 
Okay, Sarah, what would you do if someone uh, that was a friend of yours, you were talking to them about this job, and they said, well, that sounds really cool, but honestly, I am scared working for a company in another country, in China, like, is it real? Do you really get paid in dollars? And, and is this real? What would you say to them? I don't know. I mean, I pay my bills. <laughs> It's like, it, it, it is, it's real. And I know that it can be, you know, there's lots of, before I also had the same questions. I think we all did. You probably yeah. did as well, Feature Don. Definitely. Before you became, yeah, we all had those, mm, is it an online scheme? Should I give them my information? You know, right now with online, with everything being so accessible online, being cautious, yes, that is a, uh, that is a very good thing to do. However, because I knew someone who knew someone, et cetera, um, and I trusted them, and they told me about these companies, I was kind of like, okay, and I did a lot of research. Mm -hmm. I did, you know, I watched days worth of YouTube videos. I Googled anything and everything you could think of, and, um, I mean, I had it down pat. I probably knew half of the teachers by name before I even interviewed the teachers who have YouTube channels. I mean, I was, I wanted to be prepared and I made sure that I was. That's awesome. And yeah, so, um, it, I mean, it's, it's real. And, you know, as long as you treat the job, the job with respect, as long as you do your job, you do it well. Uh, you know, you respect the kids, you know, you're not just talking to a screen, you're talking to children, you're literally building minds. Mm -hmm. So as long as you take that responsibility, you know, seriously, and do your job and have fun with it, mm -hmm. it, it can be a great job for anyone. And I'm now looking into some of their secondary positions to see if, because I have, um, experience uh, with video creation and video editing, et cetera. Yeah. So I'm thinking about maybe trying out their uh, virtual field trip. You should do it. I was talking to someone the other day who's, who's doing that now, and she loves it. Yeah, you should totally do it. I'm, I'm nervous. <laughs> Try it. Try it. I know, right? I figured, you know, I really dig this company, and I would love to make – you know, I'm making a career out of it. It is my full-time job. And I would love to make a future with Zogo. So um, I figure a secondary position would probably be the next step in the journey, you know? Absolutely. So Sarah, I remember reading your Facebook post and you kind of talked a little bit about why Go Go Kid has been so good for you. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah. Um, when I was living, I was living in the U.S and my mother decided to retire to Belize. So uh, my mother, you know, she was an amazing woman. She was my best friend. So I visited her in Belize and I realized she was sick. Mm -hmm. So, and she didn't want to admit it yet, but she was going to meet the house. So I went back to the US, uh, I sold my house, my motorcycles, my vintage mopeds, because I had a collection, because that was my hobby. I was even in a little group. Um, I sold everything and came back with one, uh, one suitcase and my two dogs. Oh. And uh, I took care of her. Um, and when her health got, when her health declined, we moved over here to Mexico because the hospitals and the technology are just better here oh. in, in comparison to the lease. And so I learned Spanish really quickly. <laughs> she didn't speak Spanish. <laughs> so, um, and she passed away. Well, by the time she passed, uh, I had spent all of my money, you know, on her medical bills, on taking care of her, on everyday life, et cetera. And I had started a small company here. I was sewing and designing and making clothes for plus size women here in Mexico. Yeah. Um, but it just wasn't, I wasn't making enough and still having to pay off student loans back home, et cetera. So I was really, really stuck. I was in a position where 
even though I have a great education and I have a lot of experience, I couldn't afford a trip back to the U.S. I couldn't afford to get back back in my country, you know. Um, that being said, I'm sure if I would have reached out to family or friends, they would have helped, you know. Um, but I'm not that woman. <laughs> I'm, I'm a bit stubborn and I'm a bit independent. Yes. So um, when I found GoGo, I was I I was it, I was struggling, you know. I, it was getting pretty darn tight, and um, and I was actually just close to selling my laptop because I didn't have many more things to sell. Oh my goodness! But luckily, um, I found GoGo. And the higher on bonus, yes, saved my life. <laughs> I could buy groceries and pay rent per month with that. And uh, and now and now I'm making. I mean, I'm making what a decent job back in the states would be. I mean, I it's a good job. It's a good job, and it. I found GoGo Kid, and the possibility of online teaching online ESL when I was just, you know, between a rock and a hard place, and it was hard. And I'm so very grateful because I feel like things happen right when they're supposed to. Sometimes, mm, absolutely, you yeah. know. I, was, I found myself 33 years old, starting all over, zero in the bank, you know, different student loans, and starting all over, and I, I didn't know what I was going to do. And then, you know, I don't think opportunities always present themselves. You have to go out and look for them. Sure. But even then, they have to be there. Yeah. So finding GoGo Kid and... Uh, this career, just like really, I don't mean to be dramatic, but kind of a lifesaver, like literally. <laughs> like, uh, wow, well, I literally. totally agree with you. We find things when we're meant to, and people and situations just seem to be there right when we need them, when we're open for them. And wow, exactly, wow. Dory. And I think, I think maybe. I think it was interesting. I think I needed to maybe get to point zero to realize that I don't regret any of it. Mm. I would do it all over again. Yeah. I got to spend years enjoying my mother's company before yeah. she passed. Yeah. We got to eat new food, learn a new language, you know, see the sunset in the leaf together, wow. you know, I got an opportunity that a lot of people don't get to have with their parents when they are going to pass. Yeah. And I will forever be okay with my decision. I am at peace. Yeah. With selling everything and starting over from zero because of what it gave me in return. Mm. And so, and then this opportunity with the online jobs and, and the online ESL company and with GoGo -Go Kid, yeah. I just, I think I found my path now. I feel like I have, with GoGo -Go Kid, I feel like I have found my future, my future job, yeah. That's awesome. Are you going to stay in Mexico? <laughs> so cool. <laughs> I, you know, that's such a good question. <laughs> Who knows? Okay, well, my two dogs, now one is 14. And the other one is 10 years old. Oh, so yeah. that is, that's very old for dogs. I don't want to put them through another flight. I yeah. don't want to put them through another long trip. So I'm planning on being here, um, you know, in parts of Mexico, uh, as long as they are with me mm -hmm. until they cross the Rainbow Bridge. Mm -hmm. And, um, and I also, I rescue animals here. I rescue dogs and cats. And I find them forever home. And so um, at one point, I had nine dogs. Oh, my goodness. They're all, they're all in homes now, except for my two permanent ones. 
Right. And, um, and, uh, but I've rescued about 30 dogs from the street. Wow. Where, yeah. So I would like to make a difference, um, as far as animals being abandoned here before I take off from Mexico. And I might make Mexico a permanent thing. I don't know. I, for the first time in a really long time, I feel like I have options. And totally, this job gives you options. <laughs> Absolutely. As long as you have internet, you can be anywhere. It's crazy. Well, thank you so much. It was so great talking with you. Thank you. Thank you. It was great chatting with you. Okay. Thank you. Right, Sarah, thanks so much. Thank Take you. care. Next time. Next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>